Hello and welcome to Lesson 23, Part 2 of the Practical Russian Course for Students of Russian. This is the translation of the text of Lesson 23, Part 1. See the link for the Russian text below. Listen and read the story, Taste Stimulators. You will learn what taste is, what the tastes are, what causes loss of smell, what taste stimulators are, if sweets and carbohydrates can improve performance, what the research in the field of taste stimulators is, if bitterness can be a stimulant. Taste zones of the tongue. Coffee or tea without sugar affects the bitter taste zone. Lemon or cranberries affect the sour taste zone. Pickled cucumber or herring affects the salty taste zone. Sugar, cookies and candy affect the sweet taste zone. What is taste? Taste is a sensation that occurs when different substances act on the receptors of the tongue. There are distinctive taste zones on the tongue. The bitter zone is located at the root of the tongue. The sour zone is located on the sides of the tongue. The salty zone is located on both sides of the tongue, close to the tip of the tongue. The sweet zone is located on the tip of the tongue. Taste affects many of the body's systems, such as the digestive system where food is digested and the auditory, olfactory and visual systems. For example, when you cut a lemon, it causes you to produce saliva in your mouth. These are Pavlov's reflexes. The smell of lemon causes an association with something sour and you also reflexively salivate. But a child has no such reflex until it has tasted the lemon. As soon as the child has eaten a lemon, it immediately has a conditioned reflex to lemon. This reflex is formed in a child when his tongue receptors are stimulated by the acid molecules that are in the lemon. The tongue is covered with taste buds. In one taste bud there are from 3 to 100 receptors that distinguish different tastes of food. Taste buds have different shapes. The picture shows a cross section of the tongue. These tongue receptors transmit information to the brain about the density of the food you eat. They transmit information about whether this product is safe, in other words whether it is dangerous for us, and whether it contains toxic substances that are dangerous to our health. When these receptors are stimulated by different substances from food, a signal is sent along the nerves to the brain, where this signal is analysed. And then the function of the brain is to give a signal to the stomach, for example to release juice into the stomach which will begin to digest the food. Reflex connection of the senses with the brain. That's how everything in our body is interconnected. And when there is a violation of these connections, then failures of the functions of our body appears. For example, such as we cease to taste or smell. There may be a loss of sensation in muscle or in the skin.
What causes loss of taste or smell? Now, most people know that some viruses, in particular coronavirus, causes a symptom such as loss of taste and smell for a while. And this, in the case of this virus, is not related to nose or mouth problems. The phenomenon of loss of taste is called agesia. The phenomenon of loss of smell is called anosmia. Anosmia can be caused by a number of reasons, such as smoking, toxins, inflammation of the nasal mucosa, Parkinson's disease, or dementia. Scientists have learned that this virus has some tropicity to the human nervous system. In other words, it prefers to affect the nerve cells of the brain. What are taste stimulators? Taste stimulators are substances that have a physiological effect on brain function. In other words, under their influence, the brain shows some physiological reactions, for example, such as increased performance, increased heart rate, or vice versa. What stimulants do we know? Well, of course, there is the well-known caffeine from coffee or tea. After a cup of coffee, your heart starts beating faster. Blood flows to the brain and your performance increases and you can continue to work without rest for an hour or two. Is it good or bad? On the one hand, you'll be able to complete important work on time. On the other hand, you may be doing harmful things to your body by draining it. Of course, once or twice you can stimulate your body, but if you do this continually, then there might be a failure in normal, that is, in physiological functioning, and you might get sick. Scientists have found, for example, if you give a person sweet syrup to rinse his mouth, but he does not swallow it, but spits it out so that it does not get into the stomach, the result will be the same as if he ate or drank something sweet and his performance will increase. So sweet, glucose and bitter can stimulate the same areas of the brain that are responsible for the formation of dopamine, the hormone of joy and pleasure. A dog can have fun even in a puddle. And man, let food be for your pleasure and benefit. If you like this video, please subscribe, ring the notification bell and like this video. Goodbye.